and welcome back to another video. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to the channel. Welcome back to another week. We are now six days away from Rhubarb arriving with us. She arrives here on Sunday. So things that have happened in the last couple of days, we got the adoption papers sent over for her and also her microchip number. On the adoption form, basically there was a list of terms and conditions. This is something that most rescue centres do. It's purely just to make sure that you do know what you're taking in, taking in a rescue dog. We actually filmed a video last night when we filled in the adoption form, which we were absolutely over the moon. So we'll put this in now, just so you can give that a quick watch. So we've just received Rhubarb's chip number and her predicted date of birth. So her date of birth is the 30th of April 2020. We've also just received her contract, which we needed to fill in and sign before the morning. So the main gist of the contract was that we keep her indoors and we'll get her spayed after our first season. It's just generally information to make sure that we are looking after her once they hand her over. But yeah, we just wanted to do a little video real time, which is why we're in bed. because It's like 20 past 11 on Sunday night, so we'll take you back to the normal video. Um, the next thing we would like to talk about is what we've actually done today, which is Rhubarb's microchip. As you're aware, she is in Romania at the minute. Before she can actually be released to England, quite a few things need to be done. So one of them is to change over the ownership on the microchip. We got the numbers yesterday at the same time as the contracts that were signed. So what you do is you pay, is it £16? £17. £17 to change over the name on the microchip to our name. So I think it was Brooke who put her name down. Yeah. Registered her as living here. Yeah. It can take a couple of weeks to transfer over. So they say to do it now and they have to be done before she can actually come over to this country. So next thing we did today was her insurance. The first thing we did was go on compare the market and look for pet insurance to see what they compared, obviously to see what was the best. A company that kept coming up was bought by many. So it's cost us £21 a month and that's the complete care. So that basically covers illness, accidents and dental work she may need. So yeah, it just, it seemed like a very easy one to use. So we purchase that a day. It kicks in on Sunday when she arrives with us. We just wanted to get, have complete peace of mind and get the most comprehensive insurance cover that we could use. But we did ask our friends, you know, which ones do you use? And two would use Bought by Many and one use Pet Plan. Pet Plan is what we use for Bertie the Rabbit. Bought by Many don't cover rabbits. So we've kept Bertie's with Pet Plan and Rhubarb's is with Bought by Many. So that was all sorted out today. That is about it on terms of things we need to do to prep before she arrives. Obviously we have our crate and everything ready. Our insurance is done, our adoption papers are done, our microchip's done. She's fully paid for. When she's allowed to go out next week, we're gonna take out the vets for a checkup. For prices, the first thing I've done is run vets for pets, uh, as that's where Bertie goes, and they quote £34, and that was for a full vet consultation with a full health check for her. Probably will either use vets for pets or Westway, as Alfie uses Westway and the horse being great with him. One more little tip, on the day that the puppy arrives, whatever clothes you wear on the day, put that in the bed with them, so then it'll smell like you and them, um, it's a bit more comforting um, once they settle in. We did inquire to the rescue people about getting a blanket that smells like the puppies in Romania. Basically the logistics of that are terrible because all the puppies all tear to shreds in yeah. the transport, which is understandable. And it's probably going to smell quite bad anyway if they're all stuck in the van for a couple of days. So yeah. we have been told that the puppy will smell a little bit stinky when they get off of the transport. So and we're just going to do the tip that my mum said about wearing clothes and then putting it in the bed for her. Even if she comes on like the Monday morning, which could be the case, it could be like three or four in the morning. Yeah. Whatever clothes we wear to cuddle her and make her feel a bit more comfortable, we'll then put in the bed with that on the night time. It gets her used to our smell as well. Yeah, um, so that's it from us guys. We haven't had any more update videos or pictures of Iona, uh, Rhubarb. Obviously it's getting so close, she leaves in four days, well three and a half if you want to be ready to take the next video you'll watch. will have Rhubarb in it. We're hoping to get that up kind of next, Monday, Tuesday. So yeah, she'll be in the next video with us, probably right here. <laughs> really excited, I can't actually wait. That's everything, thank you very much for watching again and we'll see you next week.